What is going on guys? It is Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your AirPods to your PlayStation 5 console. So unfortunately for us, the PlayStation 5 does not come with the ability to connect to Bluetooth audio devices. Luckily for us, however, it does have the ability to connect using USB audio devices, which means we can use a little bit of a workaround and use a USB Bluetooth dongle like I have right here. I got this guy for about 30 bucks on Amazon and this little adapter right here will do all the connecting to get our AirPods to work with our PlayStation 5. Now, when you're looking for your own USB Bluetooth dongle, make sure to get one with a pairing button. So you can see that pairing button right there on mine. That pairing button allows us to actually connect the AirPods to the dongle and the dongle will supply the audio connection to the PlayStation 5. If you see one without a pairing button on it, that means it is for PCs and laptops, so try to avoid those, only get one with a pairing button on it. So once you have your USB Bluetooth adapter, take it and plug it into one of the USB ports on the PlayStation 5 console. It doesn't matter if it is one of the front ports, one of the back ports, or if it's the USB-C port, I would recommend plugging it into one of the front two ports, however, because those have an unobstructed path to the AirPods. Once your adapter is plugged in, it should automatically go into pairing mode and you can tell if it is in pairing mode by looking for the indicator light on the dongle. If it is flashing in a blue and or white color, it is in pairing mode and ready to connect. If it did not go into pairing mode automatically, press and hold the pairing button on the dongle for about five to seven seconds or until you see the light start to flash in that blue or white color. For this particular dongle, for whatever reason, I could not get it to work with the USB-C port, so I did have to use a USB-C to USB-A adapter, so keep that in mind if yours does not immediately go into pairing mode or you're having issues connecting, try using an adapter with one of the USB-A ports. Once the dongle is in pairing mode, we can grab our AirPods and we can put those into pairing mode. So take your AirPods, put them into the case and leave the lid open. Next, press and hold the back pairing button for about five to seven seconds or until you see the front light start to pulse in a white color. After a few seconds, the AirPods should connect and the indicator light will go from pulsing white to a solid green color. Over on the PlayStation 5, the dongle should go from a flashing blue color to a solid blue color. We can now take our AirPods out of the case and use them to listen to PlayStation 5 audio. Now, if you still can't hear any audio coming from the AirPods or if you're still hearing audio coming from your TV or monitor, it's probably because you've not set your output device on the PlayStation 5. So to do that, press the PlayStation button on your DualSense controller to open up the quick menu, then go over to sound, and then the first option here should be output device. Select that and then make sure that USB audio is set as the default. You should now be able to hear audio coming from your AirPods. You can also adjust the volume by going down here to the volume option and then moving the slider until you can hear audio from the AirPods. Now, what if you want to use a microphone? Well, unfortunately for us, we can't use the AirPods microphone, but Luckily, a lot of these USB Bluetooth dongles come with a microphone audio jack receiver like this one right here. We can plug this guy into our DualSense controller and this adapter will act as the microphone for our console. Once you have your receiver plugged in, we can set it up on the PlayStation 5. Now, if your Bluetooth dongle did not come with one of these receivers, you can still follow the steps on the PS5 to set up the microphone. We'll just be setting up the controller microphone instead of the receiver microphone. So from the PlayStation 5 home menu, head up to settings, then go down to sound. We're first going to head here to output device. Once again, make sure the USB audio device is set as your output option. And then below that, uncheck the box that says switch output device automatically. Then go back and then select the microphone option and then select input device and then select the option that says controller headset or microphone on controller. Our microphone audio will now be captured from the microphone on the controller. Now, what if you're done using your AirPods with your PlayStation 5 and you want to reconnect them with one of your other devices? Well, to do that, put the AirPods back into the charging case and close the lid. Next, take your Bluetooth dongle out of the PlayStation 5. Then you can open up the lid on your AirPods again, take them out, and they should reconnect automatically with the previous device they were connected to. If they're not connecting to that device automatically, you may have to go into that device's settings. Under Bluetooth, go to the paired devices list, select the AirPods, and then they should connect. If they're still not connecting to your other device, then you may have to repair the AirPods. So to do that, once again, Put the AirPods into the charging case, leave the lid open, and then press and hold the back button for about five to seven seconds until you see the front light start to pulse in a white color. Go to the device you want to connect the AirPods to, and then under Bluetooth settings, go to pair a new device and then select the AirPods when they appear on the available devices list. That pulsing white light should go to a solid green light and the AirPods should connect to that device. Now, what if you want to reconnect the AirPods 
back to your PlayStation 5 console. Well, to do that, take the USB dongle that you unplugged and plug it back into the PlayStation 5, and then take your AirPods out of the case, and they should automatically reconnect with that Bluetooth dongle. If they don't automatically reconnect, then you may have to repair them to the Bluetooth dongle. In that case, just follow the steps I outlined earlier to repair them to the Bluetooth dongle. Other than that, that pretty much does it for this tutorial. If you enjoy my content, be sure to leave a like down below. If you love my content, be sure to subscribe. If you have any questions or comments about this tutorial, leave those in the comment section down below. Other than that, though, I've been Steven, your semi-comprehensive guide, and be sure to have a wonderful rest of your day.